It's two quality looks, but can't knock down either one of them. So here he is Garza spinning around Robbins, and he lays it in. He is such a tough cover, and right there gets one-on-one -on -one coverage. The whole side all to himself. From Utah in the open court here for the Gophers. Right. That one doesn't go, and Garza the board. Could be interesting tonight guarding a guy like Garza. They do not have depth at that center position as Robbins able to alter that shot. Garza right over Robbins, a rare miss inside, and Enan controls the board. With Gotch of rebounding from the perimeter. Robbins strong to the hoop, and a blocking foul is called on Luca Garza. Here's Garza inside, doesn't get the roll, gets it back and does. He is just so relentless, and a really good job by Liam Robbins of contesting that shot. Here's Gotch out of the corner with the shot clock winding down. That rattles out, and Garza snares the board. See Jamal Mashburn Jr., number four in there for the Gophers. Robbins spinning over Garza, and Garza another rebound. Lee's camp had it blocked by Robbins. Garza gets it back. That doesn't go. And Gotch has it for the Gophers. Fence right into the middle of the lane. Booth Gotch the beneficiary. Garza on the other end. It'll go to the stripe. Pretty significant development. Will be interesting to see what Richard Patino does here. And point, and it's a good one. And Kofi's going to make a lot of people look bad. Garza, McCaffrey. The fadeaway does not go, and Garza gets the rebound. Well, that just can't happen if you're Minnesota. You've done everything right, and then the shot goes up, and no one grabs the basketball. Garza had it swatted away by Johnson. Shot clock at six. Garza for three. Does not go. And Minnesota doing a really good job defensively here, Robbie. Garza just being hounded, but he finds Murray inside. Nice feed there. And Toussaint the other way into the lane. Off balance. Garza the board, but he missed it from point blank range. And now Patrick McCaffrey will go to the free throw line. Now here's Garza. Working on Freeman. Garza cannot get the roll. And the Gophers corral the board. Shoot it. Now Garza, tough pass there to Corral. Tries to get it over Freeman, not there. Garza working the offensive glass, but Carr has it for Minnesota. Frederick now seven to lead the Hawkeyes. Gotch trying to respond, Garza the block. I can do that, you can post trap Luka Garza, and he has tonight. Officially laying down the gauntlet. <laughs> Garza knocks away. His East camp over Enid. Left it short. Garza, though, does get the rebound and the lay-in. So the scoreless drought, or the field goalless drought, is over for Luca Garza. Now here's Garza. Over Robbins, and that is foul number three on Liam Robbins. Ten games for Luca Garza with 20 or more points. And... At 17 in a row, Ohio State great back in 1987. Just one of two from the line, but offensive board. And now Garza misses that one on the quick reload. Garza gets it back. And Frederick. Nice. Minnesota's had some real missed opportunities, where, whether it's the Gotch missed dunk or, or now the open threes. And just like that, Iowa's taking the lead. First time they have led since he was 10 to 9. Boy, Minnesota fortunate. Joe Wieskamp, they left him all alone on the baseline. Garza, tough shot there. Battle for it, and it will go to the Gophers. Thought he would be a project, but he turned into one of the better players in the Valley. Garza inside, and he is fouled. Especially one that's skilled and can shoot threes and make post moves. Big story of perseverance. Just decided he wanted to make himself into a player. Four of four behind the arc. Kalsher on the baseline, tries the reverse. And earns a trip to the strike. Shot clock under 10. Knocked away by Garza. Here comes Toussaint. McCaffrey lays it in. Just a clinical defensive possession by the Iowa Hawkeyes right there. Connor McCaffrey. Inside to Garza. Working on Curry. 
Garza is fouled. He should get more minutes. <laughs> I think he should be playing a little more. In that loss to Gonzaga, a great job getting to the hoop. Fredericks had a great ball game. That one doesn't go. Garza, though, collects the rebound, and now 17 for Luca Garza. Son of the former NBA star, Jamal Mashburn. Garza double team. Able to split it, and he traveled. Did you see, Dave, how he uses that elbow? Garza cut off on the baseline and throws it right to Gotch. Game in double figures as a gopher, and we are even at 62. Garza left open and lays it in. Garza again over Robbins. That's 100% what Richard Patino was talking about. McCaffrey with a head of steam was knocked away, but Garza there to collect the rebound. 2-8, two, two-point game. Garza. Not there. Offensive board, though. And that's the second missed free throw of the night. Connor McCaffrey. Inside Garza. Left it short. Reese camp. Back up with it. And the foul. Shot clock at 10. Two shot penetrating. Leaves it for Garza, who lays it in. He's the only Iowa guard that's getting in the lane. Second. Wieskamp, looks like he lost his footing. Garza going for the offensive board, but the Gophers get it. And the Gophers have the ball, and he does, and they do. Well, this is Marcus Carr time right here. Carr around the screen for three. Got it! Marcus Carr has tied this one up. 30 points for Marcus Carr. You come off, take him right back off to side. You cannot go under this screen. You've got a trail over the backside. And Marcus Carr, boy, what a shot and what a moment for a guy that's been one of the best point guards. I think you gotta, you got to bring this ball up, whether it's Frederick or Bohannon, and go make a play for yourself. Here is Bohannon behind the back. Bohannon heaves it up, does not go. And we are going to overtime. Of six behind the arc. Iowa gives it to Garza, facing up and hitting. Isn't it amazing how just opening up that, that Sigma reverse pivot, knocking down the 15-footer. Here's Carr. Does not go, and Garza the rebound. Frederick. Garza the rebound. And it's blocked by Johnson, but a foul is called. Garza able to convert on the free throw, give him 28 points for coming into this game. One of two, Johnson the rebound. What an overtime for Brandon Johnson. All nine of Minnesota's points as Garza draws the foul. Boy, Brandon Johnson has been wide open for all three of his looks here in overtime. Been remarkable on seven of eight from three. As Garza able to convert both free throws, he gets to 30 points. Garza for three. Front rim. Wees can't the rebound, and he's fouled. Switch by Marcus Carr. He felt that and got back to Garza. Garza the rebound and lays it in. Put yourself in position for a late surge. Minnesota knocking off Iowa. 102 to 95, a Merry Christmas indeed for Golden Gophers fans.